Today we're glad to be chatting with Fiction from So You Think You Can Dance, Season 10. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> good, good. So tell us, how did you decide first off to get into So You Think You Can Dance and audition? What was that process like? Um, the process is really cool. It's funny because um, I didn't really know too much about So You Think You Can Dance um, as far as anything past the audition process. Um, all I knew is that I get to go there and I get to show um, my style and what I can do. Mm -hmm. So pretty much after after I auditioned and made it to Vegas Week, um, Vegas Week took me by surprise because I didn't know I was going to have to be doing so many different uh, styles uh, so soon. Um, so it was definitely probably the most memorable and challenging moment of So You Think You Can Dance for me uh, because it just it kind of hit me like a ton of bricks. Wow. Um, and luckily I got through it. So, um, yeah, it feels awesome to be to be here right now. Yeah, I mean, once you pass Vegas week, though, you know you're good. Because Vegas week, like you said, it seems like the toughest for everybody, so. Yeah, yeah, like, it's very, um, it's very unforgiving. Like, it's just, you got to go in there, you need to, you know, be ready to pick up uh, really quickly and perform it for um, the judges. So, yeah, it's, um, it's, a, it's a heck of a week. Yes. And you started off in Vegas, so tell us about that. What were you doing? Freestyling and what what, what was going on? Well, yeah, um, I've been freestyle dancing all my life. And in Vegas, um, I just started street performing uh, right after I graduated uh, high school. So when I was 17, uh, me and a friend of mine started doing it. So like that was pretty much my everyday uh, thing to do was to perform uh, on the strip. Mm -hmm. So it was really cool that... I got to still be home while mm -hmm. I was going through Vegas week. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I didn't see daylight until the week was over, so I kind of right. forgot what the outside world was. But right. um, it was pretty cool. Well, we wish, like, any time we visited Vegas, we got to see you, like, street performing like that. Like, oh, look, there's fiction, you know? <laughs> That'd be cool. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, so now tell us, do you have a favorite routine that you've done so far in So You Think You Dance? Um, I, I genuinely like them all. Mm -hmm. uh, if I had to pick a favorite probably it's between my contemporary piece with Sonya and my hip hop with Nappy Taps mm -hmm. um with a bellhop one because that one was like just so fun and like I don't know it just had so much energy and uh I got to see Amy like do hip hop for the first time so that was really cool um but also for the Sonya one like that was the one where I got to show people uh, a different side of me that wasn't just like hip hop, you know? So uh, that contemporary piece was definitely awesome uh, to do. And working with Sonya was pretty amazing too. Wow, I'm sure. I know like all of Sonya's pieces and her work is just like phenomenal. Like it chills every time, like everyone she works with, just the pieces turn out amazing. <laughs> true, true. So I'm sure working with her though is like a whole just amazing experience. It really is, yeah. She's, um, She's all for going full out uh, all the time, no marking. So, like, you really have to get your head in the game. Wow. So tell us, about, like, some behind-the-scenes stuff. What goes down, like, about the whole week for So You Think You Can Dance or, like, show day? What happens? Um, well, a lot of times, uh, like, for show day, because um, all through the week we're rehearsing. Uh, when we learn, when we have our two... Well, when we have our two rehearsal uh, schedules, then it's just rehearsal on your own. Like, so you really have to, yeah, you really have to be mindful of yourself uh, that you, you know, need to have a routine to continuously make better mm -hmm. um, without the help of a choreographer. So then um, on show days, uh, and we all, we run through uh, our routines, we're up at like four o'clock in the morning. We're up from four o'clock in the morning till the night we perform, or to the time we perform live. And then even after that, like me, like I don't sleep after that because for some reason, like, I know I'm tired, but mm -hmm. the fact that I just performed on stage, like, it keeps me, it keeps me up and it keeps me hyped, like, throughout the night. So, I'll probably be up from 4 o'clock in the morning to, like, 12 at night. Wow. Yeah, I was going to say, what do you guys, like, eat or, like, what, do you guys have superfoods to keep you going? And, like, those dances, some of them are really, like, you know, you have to have a lot of energy. So, it's like, what do you guys eat or drink or what do you do? Um, well... I don't know about other people. I, I mean, a lot of the contestants, they eat pretty healthy. Uh, eat me, healthy. I'm not going to lie. I'm not the most healthiest eater. I mean, I'm a pizza roll kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Like, I eat pizza all the time. And it's probably not good for me, but I'm just such a pizza fanatic. So, I mean, after I feel like we've done a good show, like, when we go out to eat, like, I'll go eat pizza. Or, like, 
even just like before a, a rehearsal, like, and I'm just getting really hungry, like I'll warm up a pizza. Like yeah. everything is pizza to me, which I probably need to cut back on, but pizza, pizza all day. Oh, pizza is the best. What's your favorite type of pizza or favorite place to get pizza? Uh, pepperoni pizza is my favorite type of pizza. Like just, it's just all it needs is pepperonis on it and I'm good. That's why my favorite, um, I really like, I really like Domino's and yeah. California Pizza Kitchen. Ooh. Those are some pretty good pizzas. Those are good. Those are good. Okay, well, since we're speaking of food right now, you got to tell me, what's your favorite fast food restaurant? Anything? Favorite fast food? Huh. It's weird because, like, at every fast food place I go to, I have a favorite, uh, I have a favorite order that I get. But um, as far as out of all of them, I'm really fond of Taco Bell, Taco uh, the chicken, the chicken cheese quesadillas, yes, and the steak is really delicious. Those are good. Those are good. Um, how about like being from Vegas? Do you like um, Canes? Do you like? Oh, oh yes. Okay. Really forgot about that. Yes, I love raising Canes. Yes, that is the plate. Like their chicken sandwiches and their cane sauce. Ugh, I'm so glad you brought that up. <laughs> that is. Oh yeah, Canes is worth it. I actually, I, I'm gonna put that on the top of my list. Okay, like, good. Canes, Canes check. Is the stuff. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Good. We like um, Whataburger too. We're a fan of Whataburger. Have you tried that? I have not. Oh, you haven't. Oh, that's good too. It's in Texas, so if you I've, ever. I've heard of it because a lot of my I have family in Texas uh, on my yeah. stepmom side, so they talk about that a lot. Oh, but I don't think really I've had good. it. Okay, that might be one of your favorites too. You have to try that. <laughs> all right i'll do that next time I'm in, I'm in texas yeah yeah well okay also so you're going on tour now so maybe you'll stop different places and you'll get to try the different foods oh yeah that's gonna be awesome like i'm probably just gonna go for all the different pizzas yeah if i i don't know if i have a conscious mind about it then i'll think okay well i'll try like a burger place or like a taco place or like whatnot but my first mindset when i travel is to see like what the different pizzas taste like because my mind is always thinking about pizza <laughs> Always. <laughs> now, are you one of those people, can you eat, like, one of the huge pizzas, like, you know, with, like, 20 slices? Can you eat that all yourself, or? Um, actually, yeah, I pretty much can. Like, <laughs> I almost get to the point to where if I order a pizza like that, like, I don't really, really want to share. Like, but I'll offer to be nice. But other than that, like, I'll eat the whole pizza. <laughs> it's all yours. It's all yours. Okay. Now we know your weakness is pizza. <laughs> yes. Oh, it is. <laughs> Um, we'll also go ahead and tell us more about the tour, though. We want to know more about that. Um, what type of dances can we expect? What What's going to go down? Um, I don't even know much uh, myself. Um, as far as I know, uh, they're going to supposedly pick the teams that have been, like, favorited uh, throughout the show so far. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to do those. But I, I don't know which ones yet. So I'm hoping for a couple pieces. I have a couple pieces in mind that I would like uh, to do again. Um, so hopefully those get picked and we can do those. Yeah. Well, like you said, the bellhop one was one of our favorites. So maybe that one does get picked. I like that one. Yeah, that one. I like that one too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have a couple get to know you questions. So, um, we wanted to ask you first off, who is your celebrity crush? My celebrity crush. Um, that's a toughie. There's so many cute ones. Um, I'm, I, I was, I used to have a crush on Miley Cyrus, mm -hmm. uh, back when Hannah Montana first came okay. out. Um, and then there's, there's another one. Um, the girl, uh, I know her name. I know her name. She plays, she played in, oh, what was the show? They went to a performing arts school. You might know it. Oh, it was, uh, not Victorious? Yes, Victorious. Oh, Victorious. She is so fine. Like, oh, Victoria Justice. Yes. Okay. She's definitely up there. <laughs> well, I hope you meet. I hope you meet Miley, and I hope you meet Victoria Justice. Yeah, that would be awesome. Like, yeah. I don't know what I would do. Okay, now what if she was a guest judge on So You Think You Nance, like on the panel there? Would you like kind of flip? Mm, I would probably go. I I don't know. That would take my performance to like the next level, and. Then, <laughs> I would probably take the mic from Kat and just tell her how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That needs to happen because I need to see this. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty awesome. That would be good. That would be good. Cross on that one. <laughs> Fingers crossed for you. That happens. 
<laughs> Another question for you. Um, about your Twitter and Instagram, how do you like using both of those? Um, they're actually new to me. I didn't have a Twitter or Instagram uh, before the show. So uh, it's really interesting to get into a different uh, source of social media. Uh, Twitter was definitely confusing to me at first. But uh, once I figured it out, I feel like uh, I'm doing pretty good at it so far. There's still some things I don't get about it, uh -huh. like hashtags and all that stuff. So I'm kind of getting trying to get used to that. And then Instagram, I believe, is is actually pretty fun. Like, I never knew what the hype was about Instagram. Right. Every, everybody would be like, oh, do you have an Instagram? I'm like, what is that? They say, you just go look at pictures. And I thought about it like, I don't want to just go look at pictures. <laughs> but then, I don't know, you realize it's more than that. Because it's like people taking pictures of, like, themselves, their experience, what they're doing. Right. So, um, it's really addicting, actually. So, and I've gotten on a popular page a couple times. Oh, I'm really happy about that. Like, that's, that's like the... The goal when you post a picture, I guess. So um, it's been pretty fun working with those two social networks. And is there anything else you want to tell your fans out there or to any dancers out there that are trying to become dancers and live out their dream? Um, well, to my fans, I just want to say thank you for supporting me this far. It really means a lot. I mean, there's just absolutely no way I would be here in this position right now if you guys didn't vote for me. Um, so I'm really happy that you guys have been voting. And to all the dancers um, who are coming up and possibly want to do this show or want to do something great with dance in their life, um, number one thing, just never give up your dreams no matter what happens, no matter what anyone says. Um, when people tell you you need a plan B, like just go for plan A because if plan A works, you won't need plan B. Um, so, yeah, just, just fight for your dreams as hard as you can and never give up.